My name's Dave Watkins-Jones. I live in Poole in Dorset. Just an incredible bloke. Known as the Crampton Classic, unfortunately it's just a one-off. It was built as the prototype for a limited production run in the year 2000. I purchased it directly from the designer and builder, who is a guy by the name of Ian Cramp, who at the time was working with Triumph. He had a verbal agreement before any of this took place with Triumph Management that they would provide engines for a limited production run. Ian launched the bike as it is today pretty well. I've done one or two very minor adjustments to it. In uh, 2001 at the NEC Bike Show in Birmingham, he got his first batch of orders together for 25 motors, went back to Triumph, and Triumph then refused to supply the engines for the build. So the project basically folded from that time. For riding enjoyment, getting out on the road, it's got to be one of the nicest bikes I've ever ridden for that reason. The idea behind the build was to keep weight to absolute minimum, hence the girder fork layout with rising link suspension, both front and back. These forks are actually two thirds of the weight of ordinary tele forks, so there was a massive weight saving on this design. The uh, seat is actually a 7R, copy the AJ7R, and the tank just classic Norton and as tight as could be fitted to the top of the airbox directly underneath here. Motors Triumph 1999 speed triple 955i motor. The first one uh, that Ian fitted. Before it's even stopped, you get people stopping and looking and creates a crowd. <laughs> sure creates a crowd, yeah.